Okay, so I'm going to be making a video that describes a language called Visual Binary and how that language relates to the Friendship Cube. This I've got a gold engraved, actually I've got many of these gold engraved granite Friendship Cubes. And uh, it'll take a minute at least to describe what is the code of the friendship cube? What is visual binary? And so you'll see, hopefully you'll see all the sides, right? On every si side of the cube, there's the same symbol. It's a uh, diamond. Anyway, it all starts with one. And so um, we can imagine if we have one, we have to differentiate between one and zero. And so the first lesson would be to differentiate between 1 and 0. Uh, 1 would be a line, and 0 would be the absence of a line. So, um, so just imagine, like, if you wanted, um, if you had 1 and 0, uh, 1 could be a line, and 0 could be the absence of a line, okay? And then you're going to realize, uh-oh, now that we have 1, 0, we can actually have four patterns. We can have 0, 0, we can have 0, 1, we can have 1, 0, and we can have 1, 1. And so, again, now we have four symbols, four of these diamonds, and uh, what would happen if we had this pattern would be 0, 0, 0, 1, which would be a uh, horizontal line, 1, 0 would be a vertical line, and 1, 1 would be a cross inside the diamond, right? And so now that we have a two-bit code explained, two bits creates four characters. And so, but now we can go three bits, four bits, five bits, six bits, seven, eight, nine. We go up to 22 bits with the Friendship Cube code, the 22-bit visual binary code. Um, and so we went to three bits, now we have 2 to the 3, which is 8. Um, and then the next stage would be 16. After that, we have 32. And then we imagine it goes up to 2 to the 22, which is actually above 6 million symbols. So in visual binary code, we have above 6 million uh, visual binary anagram symbols. And so one interesting thing is like Shakespeare, he wrote in about 10,000 English words. Well, we've got 6 million words we can work with with the Friendship Cube. So we've actually got more potential than Shakespeare. Um, anyway, so here's, here's how the symbols work when they're on the cube. I guess we have to uh, show it as it goes up A-E-I-O-U, B-P-M-F-V, or... Um, each of these actually is a, uh, a binary placeholder. So I'll go to the next one. Just familiarize yourself with these symbols because you're going to start seeing them more and more. And here, here are the outer square symbols, okay? So uh, what happens is, this is what a visual binary symbol looks like. Um, a line is a 1, and the absence of a line is a 0. So if you look really closely, you can see that uh, the lines are 1s and the absences of a line are a 0, is just empty space. And so strings of 1s and zeros end up looking like a visual binary sign. Now, you, you can see these signs, you can recognize these signs with your eyes, and you can also recognize them with the webcam. So uh, it's kind of like... QR codes, quick response codes, only your eye can recognize it, so it's more efficient. Uh, now I'm going to explain the alphabet. Um, this has reasoning behind it. It's not just shapes that represent sounds. It's shapes that represent visual binary, and the shapes have a reason. So anyway, A-E-I-O-U. Memorize these symbols. B P M F V B P M F V. Okay, it's shaped phonetically 
like the way your mouth moves when you're making the symbol. So A E I O U B P M O F O V. There's more symbols to come. X C H W H S H W. L D T N. L D T N. Okay, it's logically created. And then R S Y J. Okay, these are the outer symbols. So again, friendship cube, visual binary cube. Right? I'm going to explain to you. How can six symbols become 22? Answer, each side of the cube rotates. So here you have a symbol. You rotate it. A is B, rotated, right? And so each symbol rotates. And so you get the six sides, the six symbols on the cube. They rotate to create a 22-bit visual binary code. And so from six symbols that rotate and combine, you can make your own friendship cube. And so here's another piece of paper that shows this is what the granite friendship cube looks like. This is what we're dealing with. And uh, these are the six symbols. Um, each symbol rotates, and you end up with a 22-bit code. This is one way of seeing the visual binary code. I'll try to do it closely so you can see. A E I O U, B P M F V B P M F V X C H W L D T N and R S J Y. Okay, so that is one way of seeing it. Another way of seeing the 22-bit visual binary code. It's the same thing, but now I've uh, arranged it alphabetically, like the old alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Um, you're going to memorize this. And it's only going to take a, sh a short amount of time to memorize this, but this is worth memorizing. One cube instead of 26. It's, it's a lot better. So anyway, this is what um, the symbols end up looking like. With visual binary symbols, you can combine letters. And uh, so your eye is going to read the light, and it's going to uh, be more efficient than the English language. This is a page um, that explains, this is what you're going to be reading. Um, it looks like visual binary. It's beheld in light, and the light is above the sound, and it's more efficient. Uh, visual binary is a really cool language. It's also called the Friendship Cube Code. And so here we have our gold engraved granite friendship cube that uses a 22-bit visual binary code that can create symbols and anagrams that are very useful for communication that has more capability than the English language. It's beheld in light, which is not a noisy sounds language. It's, it's not about the audio frequency. It's about the light frequency. And so I'm going to ask yourself, you're going to have to ask why. I'm going to say, okay, so why noisy sound when all we need is light? Okay? Why 26 cubes when all we need is one? Why stupid letters when we can have smart? Okay? So you're going to start asking yourself why. Ask why and then see the logic. I'll explain it. I've got a few more seconds. A E I O U B P M F V B P M F V X C H W L D T N H S H W L D T N and R S J Y R S O Y J. I'll show you the cube. This would be an R S J and Y. You see how the symbols rotate to create the letters. And so uh, that's the friendship cube, the visual binary code. And I think it's a portal into unity. It's a portal into order. Uh, it's a portal into peace and oneness and the deeper things we're looking for in meditation with light. So thanks for listening and more information on friendshipcube.com.